What's good, gang? It's your boy Two Time Motor TV, and we're back with another video, guys. I got my family with me today. We bought the uh, AMG out, and we are at the Ferrari Italia dealership. Man, they got amazing vehicles here. This is just manifestation for any of those who uh, need it, including myself. I need it to get back on YouTube, to get back on my grind, to know what's out here, to know what I need to be doing. So. This is more than just cars, guys. Cars is a comfortability tip. When you can take vacation in it, you can ride around and cruise just like I'm doing with my family today, man. We ride around and cruising in a vehicle of my dreams. Never thought that I would acquire that AMG, but I have it. So we want things a little bit better, a little bit more positive, man. Manifestation is what it takes. So I'm here at the Ferrari Italia dealership. I'm going to see what I can come up with. I'm going to see what I love, what I like, what I don't like. Cars that got good looks, but may not have the interior specs that I need. And may not be valued to the price point that I think that it's put at. And uh, what needs to be bought. I'm going to get my spec and taste of a vehicle. So, y'all sit tight, man. We're about to walk around. We're going to have guys, I guess, help us out if they want to be video recorded or not. So, y'all stay tuned. Guys, we already starting off this video super, super good. We have a 2022 SF90 Stradale. This is most definitely my dream car of Ferrari. This Joker is super fast. One of the fastest production cars on the planet. SF90, I want to say it goes for about 600K, depending on the spec. Good God! Look at the back of this joker, man. I mean, driving something like this, man, you won't be able to tell the owner nothing. Nothing. He can park wherever he want to, which don't give you the right to just because you got a little bit of money. But guess what, man? You drive something like this, you got to park somewhere secluded, away from others. It's not just your ordinarily standard vehicle. Look at the interior i hate to even put my hand on the window so i'm keeping it away from it trying to give you guys a interior spec you guys see it fuel economy annual fuel costs 2022 sf90 stradale this is my first time actually seeing one in person you got your older Ferrari here, shoe, which I wouldn't mind having. Man, look, I'll tell you what, I'll take that joker right there. And you still wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. I got a Ferrari in my yard, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, we got the older Ferrari. I want to say this is 1990s still. This is definitely the 80s. Maybe early 90s. That's a 2000 and something model there. Still nice. I would love to have this joker. This was like the one on the video games, guys, that y'all, you know, used to race around the track in. Coming up as kids. I don't know if y'all 90s or 80s babies. But this is the one that y'all used to play uh, Gran Turismo in and Need for Speed and all that. And uh, used to ride around this Ferrari right here. Maybe in GTA nowadays. I don't know what them guys playing gta nowadays but uh yeah man that right there was the car i do remember that one hey guys first disclosure i'm gonna try to be a little quiet but still so y'all can hear me this place isn't you know like really loud with people or like visitation kind of deal so i did get the disclosure from one of the employees here that i can record but i can't go in the back room because those are customer cars i do understand that some people are private so we will start here on the bottom showroom floor and then I'll make my way up there at the top. But I will kind of be quiet like I'm whispering, like how I am now. So guys, this here is a 765 LT. Man, this Joker is beautiful. Golly, it's black and orange. You see the orange seat belt. And uh, it has like a ventilation in the middle of the seat where you can see orange at as well orange stitching and this is a mclaren guys uh he said that this was around 500 and some thousand dollar 
a vehicle here and it looked like it's worth every penny i'll give you guys a shot all around the car good god look at that man So if you guys didn't know, this is my dream car. So for the channel, when we do blow, and I'm not gonna say if we do, when we do blow, this will be a car for the channel right here. This is my ultimate dream car. I love this car, man. So moving on to the Lamborghini Urus. Beautiful car. I mean, if I was to own a Lamborghini, it would probably be the car that's just my taste. Now, if I had ample amount of money, yeah, I'd get a Lamborghini SUV like this. I mean, it is a beautiful truck. Don't get me wrong. I can hear another Ferrari up there starting up. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I'm going to talk a little bit louder since the car is going now. But, guys, the Urus. It's nice as well. We got the C8 Corvette. I love the cockpit of the C8 Corvette. I do want to own one of these soon for the channel. This one is a little bit too base for me. It doesn't have a spoiler. It looks like it's just pretty much a base model. Um, I do love the color. It's a very beautiful car. Steel. Like I said, if I own something like this, it's gonna have the full shenanigans to come along with it. Like I said, even the big wang, but this is the Stingray, so. Um, well, it's not a base, it is the Stingray, but it just doesn't have the spoiler on the rear. Hey gang, so the hospitality here is outstanding they giving me a whole brochure with the uh, inventory this is to keep you guys can see the red rope tie there man this is amazing so if you guys come to greensboro north carolina look up ferrari italia and your mind will be blown when you come here i mean i didn't even come to purchase and i even told them that and they still giving me a brochure and an inventory kit to follow along with Guys, this here is the new Lucid. This is a 2022. It's supposed to get 500 miles to a charge. It's supposed to be about 600 horsepower. It's called the Lucid. The new Lucid. It's almost like a Tesla, but <clears throat> I suppose um, I was told it is coming for a Tesla. So we got the Porsche here, Porsche truck. Maserati, like I said, I try to stay away from Maserati because I heard it's kind of, um, it's, it's not as reliable as you want a supercar to be, but it do have Ferrari engines. So if you do find a Maserati that folks are really not having issues with, then it'll be the best one to get. Guys, we got another C8 Corvette. This is a Stingray as well. Now this is the spoiler that I was talking about. So the other one could have been the base Stingray, but this one looked like it got a little bit more options because it do have a rear spoiler. It has the red trim with the black interior along with the carbon fiber. You guys can see the carbon fiber as well. I love the way that the C8 Corvettes is positioned more to the driver because guess what i mean i don't have a passenger all the time so everything is centered towards the driver and it feels like a fighter jet for how you got all the buttons here you got your infotainment screen and you still got your dash and everything that you need with that so center mass engine which means that you hooking at all times don't get how much really horsepower that you put to this thing she's gonna hook because you got all that weight right here up on the rear tire and it is rear wheel drive got the bmw i8 sport with the v10 with the big boy v10 yo i love these cars i feel like these cars are one of my top five 
that I would purchase if I was to get, which I'm not gonna say if I was, when I do get into the big boy status, like these cars have to offer. We got the Porsche. This Joker look like the older 911, but I know it's a newer model. Um, let's see what it is. Yep, 911, yep. Porsche 911 Turbo. Yo, I love the Porsche. Oh, you got the Shelby GT 350. Golly, man. Now, this is a car that is on my daily list of things to afford. GT 350 or the GT 500. You know, GT 500 is pretty pricey. You might as well get up into the supercar deal. But look at this thing in the front, man. I mean, you just can't beat that. You see that thing coming down the road, you know what's up. I mean... That's what you just gotta deal with when you see that. You see that Joker coming down the road. Guys, look at this Ferrari. I'm not supposed to video court majority of these cars. I'm um, trying to get the ones that I can. Um, this thing right here, Monza SP1, this thing is sick. Um, you got another one here. I'm trying not to get the live Ferrari over here because this is a Tennessee car. The one in front of it is as well, so I need to stay away from those. But you guys can see Mazda SP1s. Guys, we got another Stradali. Good God, man. 2022 Stradali. Man, you know what? I'm not going to get too overworked up over these cars, because guess what? We all go on one of these one day, man. Just gotta manifest it. That's it. That's the only thing it's gonna take. It's a manifestation. So, I don't see stuff like this on a daily basis. I don't. You guys may if y'all stay in Cali or Florida or whatnot. But I don't see stuff like this every day, man. Especially to be able to come to a showroom floor and be like, hey, listen, I want that. Well, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I like that because it's black. Well, I like this because it's white, you know what I'm saying? Like to be able to come somewhere and to do that. Or to be like, you know what? I don't want to spend X amount of dollars on this when I can have this and it look just as good to me. It doesn't have to look good to everybody else or the newest style or what everybody else is rocking, you know? Because it looks good to me, this is what I want. And that's what it's all about. So we're gonna head to the upper level showroom floor. All right, guys, instead of going up on the top showroom floor, we are here in the Porsche Center, which is still connected to the building. As you guys can see, the cars that was in the front there. Uh, my wife said that she's in love with this. I bet she is. This thing is nice. I would drive it myself and wouldn't lose no sleep at night, man. The tail lights on this thing looks crazy. Very sleek. Say Porsche on the back. You know what time it is. And you come over here to the side. You got the Porsche interior. You got the leather. You got the screen that looks real plush. Look like you got a panoramic roof. Let me see if you got that deal. Heck yeah, man. The whole thing is a daggone roof in there, man. It's a whole see-through clear roof. So, come to the front. You got the Porsche look, man. Tall boy. You got the GT3 over here. I love these GT3s. I mean, but if I was to get a supercar, It'll be another kind of supercar. Now, these things are very nice. And if I got enough money just left over, just compiled, then yeah, I grab something like this because this GT3 is nasty. I like the scoops on the back. It look like two jetpacks. You know what I'm saying? You come out of here with that. Boom. This thing right over here look like you got a sunroof on it. A Porsche with a sunroof. Golly. I don't know, guys. I might be losing my mind here. This might be the love of my life here, too. Got a sunroof on a Porsche that slide back. I'm a sucker for a slide back sunroof. This thing looks crazy. Man, you pull up in something like this and look, it's so small and so compact, you can dag on there fit anywhere like a Beetle. 911 Turbo S. Yeah, this, this will have to be on my top maybe seven or eight. Along with that GT3 over there, that GT3 is nasty. And we come over here to a GTS. 
Porsche SUV. Oh God, dang it! I think this is that new Porsche with the uh, with the wing that look like it's facing backwards on it. I don't know what you call it, guys. Look, I'm gonna get it together. I just ain't never been around so many cars like this at one time. Yeah, this is that new Porsche that got the wing facing backwards. I love that, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It looks different. It looks different. Oh, so that's the new GT3. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Got a 4.0 in it. You see that big boy badge in there. Got the rear facing spoiler. Two tailpipes on the rear. And the center. Let's see what the interior look like. It looks a little plain and simple, but guess what? Sometimes that's the best what you need, man. So everything is just so complex. Sometimes you just need it simple like that. They're like it's a stick. Heck yeah, banging through them gears. Yeah, I like that. I like this here. I like that spoiler though. So guys, look, we're gonna go to the top level and uh, we're gonna check out what they got up there. They got a lot more Ferraris. So let's see what they got. Let's go crazy. All right guys, here we got a 2022 Ferrari Roma. This joke is sick as well. I mean, I like these, but I'm gonna tell y'all, if I was to get something like this, it'll probably be like an Aston Martin or something like that. I mean, because this reminds me of the Aston. I might as well just get the Aston if I was gonna get a Ferrari like this. So, yeah. And this right here is the Ferrari Portofino 2022. This joke is sick as well. The one in the back, guys, I cannot record because it is a customer. So let me walk around that joker. Sorry, man, I wish I could. Got the drop top Rari. This is another Portofino, this is a 2020. Got the drop top Rari, California over here. It's a very nice car as well. I don't know what year this is, but I want to say it's older just because of how the uh, stereo system look. Let's see, I could be wrong. Yep, but nope, I'm not wrong. It's a 2011. Should I still rock that? I rock the heck out of it. This is another Stradale, yo. This is on my to-do list. Stradale, 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 Stradale. Golly, man. This joker is sick. I mean, this thing is a freaking animal, yo. Oh no, excuse me. This is a F8 Tribedal 2021. Yo, they got so many different Ferraris. Like, they all starting to look alike to me, but y'all can't tell me that this thing don't look like a Stradale. This must be the same as that one. It gotta be. But this blue is crazy. Oh, this is a 488 Spider. This is a 2017. See, look, they all just starting to. Man, look, look at that. And then look at this. I mean, besides the headlights, they all starting to just look alike. Man, they got so many Ferraris. Yo, I bet you Ferrari is making a killing. Yeah, they said no radio for y'all boys, man. You don't get no radio in this thing. Just straight car. That's the only thing you need with this straight car. You just need to hit the engine. That's it. You don't need to hit nothing else. No radio. No tunes in there. No nothing. No Bluetooth. They say get your rev game up. That's what they say. Heck yeah, y'all. I can't record that one at the front up there. I wish I could. But I can't. Because I got a tag on it. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and head on out. I'll talk to y'all outside. All right, guys, I'm at a loss for words just being around so much money, so much value, so much materialistic stuff. That, you know what I'm saying? That uh, really, it shouldn't account for life values, but that just shows your success and what you work hard for to be able to enjoy it. I mean, I love being in a nice car and riding down the road, man. It just makes me feel good. Not just because everybody else can enjoy it along with me, but it makes me feel good to know I got good AC. I got the best top-notch leather. 
I just got it going on, man. Like the success just drives you and it drives you to do better. So guys, y'all make sure y'all get in tune with y'all inner body, y'all, y'all uh, inner self and find that. Anybody can do it. Me, I always been camera shy. I never liked being in front of, you know, this kind of stuff, but you know what? I found myself to do it and I overcame that. And I feel like that now I'm just getting better and better and better. Back in here with the family, man. We about to take it to the heist. So, two-time Moto TV out, man. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all smash that like button, yo. Until next time, peace.